What's up guys? We're back at it again. Today we're showing you guys a cool update. Tank number 12 in the farm. Oh, you guys hear that construction noise in the background? I wonder what, that's what that is. A lot of you guys been asking, what's all this rock that we got like three, four months ago from Marco Rocks? What's all that construction noise? Well, I'm gonna fill you guys in a little bit today, so stay tuned. Anyhow, in the meantime, I'm gonna be going to the farm and I'm gonna give you guys an update on tank number 12. Tank number 12 has been growing aquapores now for a year and a half. It's looking really, really good. And I wanna show you guys some eye candy. That's just a little bit of the maintenance of the tank. One of the things that I wanna tell you guys is we have a little party here, Worldwide Corals, Friday, April 21st, from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. When I piece out some beers, everyone is welcome. It's gonna be the night of Reef Palooza setup. Uh, we have a little unveil that we got going on, a few things that we're changing here in the store. So come check us out. We're gonna post more information on our website. I'm sure we post it on our social media. But anyhow, let me just fill you guys in what's going on. All the noise that you guys hear from the construction, follow me along and you guys will check it out. All right, if you guys been here to the store, you guys know this is the water station. Right next to it, we used to have all of our apparel right here that we always selling. Well, this time around, something's changing. All of this is coming down. As you guys can see, these doors going to the farm here. We're taking them out. Changes are coming. We're putting all this wood here and there's a mural coming here by Chris and the guys from Octonation. Nation. They're gonna hook it up, they're gonna be here. We're gonna close this area. It's gonna take him about 10 days to build this mural. It's gonna be incredible. We're super, super pumped, super excited. As you guys know, Rifa Palooza Orlando it's coming here on April 22nd and April 23rd. We're displaying there. We're gonna have tons of traffic here on the store. So come on down and check out the store. But if you wanna see this mural on view, it's gonna be Friday night. And, no, I'm not gonna tell you just yet. There's another on view that we're gonna show and be showing you guys, maybe the same night, maybe a little star. As Soon as I get more in depth, I'm gonna tell you guys more details. You guys are dying to know. Again, why will I need two, 3,000 pounds of rock that we cherry pick? You guys seen the video, Marco Rocks. Don't forget, we're gonna hide Casper on this video somewhere. First one to spot the egg, we're gonna give you a prize. The prize is gonna be a swag pack that we're gonna deliver to your house. We're gonna ship to your house, direct to your door, and it's gonna have some stickers and a t-shirt. We don't care where you are, we'll send it to you. So again, you gotta look for Casper. Not that one, it's a little Casper that we're gonna hide. All right, so that doesn't count. Sorry, Casper, we gotta do you wrong. You gotta go. All right, guys, we're here, we made it. We're inside the farm. Many of you guys seen on many different videos we posted before. Tank 12 is one out of three 750 gallon tanks. It's the best looking one out of the three, in my opinion. It's a total mixed reef. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got mushroom, it's got chalices, it's got LPS. It's got tons of aquapores on top. There's a lot of warfare going on. We frag this tank once a week. We get about 150 frags every single week. And we just wanted to show you a little bit of details, a little bit of eye candy today. I know you guys seen it before, but I want to show you guys some depth from the top, through the glass, all the cool fish that we have in there. So one of the things, that, the maintenance wise, we like normally, you guys know, we do water changes once a week. We do about 10%. We check for alkalinity twice a week on this tank. Uh, the other stuff, uh, calcium, magnesium, nitrates, phosphates, we're checking them every two weeks. Uh, we use some Brightwell salt for this tank. It's also worth mentioning we have a four MP60s power heads, there's plenty of it. It took a little while to get things adjusted to the flow since it's a peninsula. So the tank is eight feet long, five feet wide, 30 inches tall. It's 750 gallons exactly, and it's three of them. But this specific one, like I said, it's got four MP60s. It's got a geo calcium reactor, reef octopus protein skimmer, it's an external. Uh, sums, we have some Rubbermaid containers that we connected together to make a sump. It also got on the bag, it's got attached to it, it's got six frag tanks. Those frag tanks are six feet long by three feet wide. They're 180 gallons each, and it's six of them. We're farming uh, mushrooms back there, uh, Montiporas. We're farming a lot of anemones, lots of zoanthids, uh, pectinias, and, and many other corals. Everything that is for, gets fracked from this tank stays into this system. That way, if we ever were to deal with that parasite that we're not aware that is inside the tank, then we don't have to be transferring it from one tank into the other. It's just good practice. So some of the, my favorite calls is the Spectinia that is down here. 
I can't help it, but uh, the encrusted Tengonio Poros are always some of my favorite torches. You see the little red Ferrari Acupora, here's one of the best looking ones. You guys are gonna laugh, but I love this uh, blue hairy mushrooms. If you guys were to see them in person, they're solid blue. And those of you guys in the hobby, blue is not an easy color to uh, come by. Uh, we got many nice Acoporas. Obviously the, the famous uh, Mango Tango of uh, Ekinara, everybody wants that coral, it is just gorgeous. It is blue and orange and it's got these neon green eyes. I love the Leptoceris back there, the solid orange one. Uh, there's a um, staghorn back here that it came from uh, Joe Caparata and Unique Corals. What's up, buddy? He came from him and uh, he came from the Solomon Islands and he's got two colors, it's grafted. It's like regular color and then it's got neon green in some other side. So I love it, it's fantastic. So guys, if there's any questions genuinely that you would like to know regarding the systems, anything, no question is too silly, Go ahead and post it in the comments below. We love to answer them. We love to engage back and forth with you, seeing what your thoughts are, what your questions, what your issues are, what you want to achieve. We'd love to help you. So again, post the comments below and we'll be all over it. All right, so some of my favorite calls to look in here. I love my mycediums, as you guys can tell. We have some beautiful acorns growing here. Famous magic carpet mushrooms. We got about 10 giant ones just growing in here. We started with a single polyp three years ago. It took three years to go from one into 10, but they're gigantic, they're huge. Uh, there's a beautiful Aiken Hilea right here. It's half green and half red. Some of these five is encrusting into the rocks. Can't help it, but all the nice Acoporas. Uh, one thing worth mentioning here, if you guys notice, it's a coral warfare and we are always dealing with issues. And as I'm talking to you guys, this is the reason why I'm bringing it up. I just look over here and we have this Talophora right here that is dying in one end and it's got literally brown jelly disease right on it. The Acropora right next to it, it must to tag it overnight. So I'm gonna have to call Brandon, one of the guys to help us out. So you guys can see right here the tops blues. And then you see this, uh, it's called the PPE chalice. It's an old school chalice, which is a favia. They called it the PPE chalice 15 years ago. For if you're school, you know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, if you guys see right behind the, uh, the tops blue zoanthids, you guys can see the sunny Ds. They're disappearing because the tops blues are winning the fight. So when we first started the hobby, the main goal is always like, oh, I want to grow corals, I want to grow corals, I want to grow corals. Then when you get real into it, the corals start growing all over the place. And then you realize it becomes almost like a nuisance, like a problem. So then you have to frag them, then you have no space to frag the corals. Then some of the corals are just not desirable enough and they grow faster that you can get rid of them. So these are good problems to have, I guess. People always, when they, they're trying to choose a size, everyone's always telling you, go, go the biggest that you can, because you're all going to end up upgrading to a bigger tank. That can be true in certain cases, but I will say no most of the time, because a lot of times we shop with our eyes, and we want the biggest possible tank, but then we don't realize that buying the tank and stand is a substantial cost, but most of the cost goes into your electronics, goes into your live rock, goes into your fish, into your corals. And therefore, a lot of times, I'm guilty of this. If you guys know the 125 gallon tank from Perfecto, it's been around for decades. It is six feet long, it is 18 inches wide, and it's 20 inches tall. If you think about it, when you upgrade from a 125 gallon tank into a 180 gallon tank from the same company from Perfecto, the same tank is six feet long, which is the same length, but now instead of being 18 inches, it's two feet deep, but now instead of being 20 inches tall, it's 24 inches tall. You say, what can be different? Well, you need a little bit more lighting. Now your protein skimmer needs to be bigger. Now you need more live rock. Now you got more surface to clean with the glass. So every time we think, oh, it's just a small upgrade, it's not. It comes with this territory. It comes with more labor. It comes with more money. So ideally, I would say, try to get a Yes, a bigger tank if you can afford it, if you're, if you're a veteran and you understand what all the ins and outs of the hobby are. But usually, it's, get something that's gonna fit nice on the space where you need to fit it. I see tanks that they've been 40, 50 gallons. There's this one tank that we filmed in Port St. Lucie in one of the series. It's a 30 gallon, it's one of the most beautiful tanks that you've seen. And it's from Brandon. You guys are gonna be seeing this tank update here coming soon. So to me, it's not the size. You guys see it in my counter, I have the three gallon Pico which by the way, I upgraded to a six gallon Pico. More updates coming regarding that tank. But yeah, the idea is don't always go for the biggest tank. 
If you're gonna go for the biggest tank, make sure you understand everything about equipment and how much time it's gonna take to do labor. 10% of a 180 gallon tank is 18 gallons. 10% of a 125 is 12 gallons, if you guys know what I mean. So think about it, that's 50% more water that you have to carry. So if you were trying to change 12 gallons, that's two buckets, basically 10 gallons. If you're trying to change 15, 18 gallons, now you need three buckets. So now you have to fill up extra water, you have to mix extra salt water, you have to carry extra buckets if you're one of those old school guys that carry buckets. If not, then we understand. One of those fancy guys that click switches, you know? But anyhow, you guys understand the concept. So I just mentioned just now to you guys that this coral got stung by the coral next to it and it got brown jelly disease. It's sad because that coral's been growing for over a year from a frag and it was get getting very large. However, he's got no room. So what Brent is doing right now, he went inside with a little hose and going into this bucket right here. We don't want to circulate the same water. Every time, if you find brown jelly disease in your tank, you have to soak, stop all the flow or soak it with the hose so it doesn't go flying all over the place. Then you remove the coral, then amputate the area that is just doing bad go. Go a little bit past where the area got stung. So let's say this is the coral and the coral got stung here right on the watch. I want to cut here maybe another inch or two past where the affected area was. If I get too close, there's a chance that the, the, the disease was already inside the skeleton and it's gonna continue to attack the coral. So that's what he's doing right now, sucking all the, um, the jelly out of the coral and then we're gonna remove the coral and we're gonna trim the coral and put it back in place. You guys know Tommy right here, right? In the video. Old school Tommy. He's been with us for what, five years now? Six years. No. Come on bro, who's counting? He's making me feel old now. Wow. Yeah, Tommy runs our retail store, guys, in Orlando. If you guys want to come and check him out, those of you guys seen him for many years, he used to run the Winter Park store. Now he's running the Orlando store. Come say hi to him. Tommy's a big football fan. His Buffalo Bills didn't win this year, but again, no mocking him. We're hoping we're going to win this year. We're going to win this year, bro. We're going to win it all? It, show me, show me. What are you carrying? What you got? What? The Bills? What, the keychain? Are they going to win? Go Bills, baby. Go Bills. Go Bills. Oh, you got him. See, you got a bet on him. Go Bills. <laughs> Big bet going to the Bills. Post in the comments. Are they going to win or not this year? Oh, they're winning, bro. I don't know much about football, but Tommy is my football advisor, and he's telling me last year he said they're going to win it all. They were going full steam until the last half a mile. They're like, you know when people run marathons and they're collapsing in the last 200 meters? Like... <laughs> so earlier I was mentioning to you guys that this system is attached to six frag tanks. I mentioned to you guys, they're 180 gallons each. They're all connected to one system, one calcium reactor, one protein skimmer. Uh, basically, all systems are not the same. For instance, this system here has got three lights. The first one, which is 12A. 12B, here we're growing a lot of aquapores and a lot of anemones. It's got four lights. Some of them got more power heads than other. We're gonna be showing you a little bit of eye candy to show you what we go throughout. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys like that tank. However, you guys see what's behind me? This is another tank, the same size. However, no same content. So we're gonna be showing you guys this on the next video, which is today. I'm gonna shoot two, maybe even three tanks today. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give us a like, post some comments below. We'd love to engage with you. See you guys very soon.